Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. We're starting off this vlog at the end of the day. We're about to go out. It's currently Thursday. No, it's Friday. Um, I'm gonna get, set you guys up right here. Hopefully you're focused. It's Friday, February 11th and we're about to go out. It is Valentine's Day weekend or what I would rather call Galentine's Day weekend and um, sorority recruitment's finally over, everyone can go back out, so that's exactly what we're doing. And my roommate Sarah's boyfriend Charlie's in town, so he's here. We have some friends over right now, but I wanted to quickly just start off this vlog, say hello. I hope you all are doing well. We have a lot to catch up on, but right now we're just focused on my outfit. I'm like really hot right now. So I'm wearing this top, which is from Saks, I think it's so cute. It's like 50 degrees out today, so I don't need a jacket, but I still wanted to wear long sleeves. And as you can see, this is like a sheer material. I wore this in Connecticut when we stayed at the Mayflower Inn, but I really like it. And then I'm wearing my Aritzia leather pants, super simple, these little earrings from Bobble Bar, just some very basic gold jewelry. This is such a boring outfit. Well, it's not a boring outfit, it's just basic. And then the star of the show tonight is my new purse from Francis Valentine. I got it when we were in Palm Beach. It's just this little shoulder bag, and I'm obsessed with it I love this gold chain I think it's absolutely precious and it's velvet which is so cute so I figured in honor of Valentine's Day we would wear it for night one um, so yeah just a pop of red all black outfit and hopefully my hair participates in tonight's activities because right now she's not living up to her potential and we're annoyed because my hair is always an issue. So this is going to be the start of a college weekend in my life. We have a lot of fun things planned. Please subscribe if you're new here. And I'm so excited. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back. Today's Saturday. We are up and at them. We're about to go out. We had such a fun time last night. It was a really good time. And then this morning we all woke up and Sarah, Charlie's boyfriend, made us pancakes. And I made everyone like these oat milk iced lattes. It was so much fun. We were in our pajamas all morning and now we just got ready and we are about to go out for the day. Elizabeth's going to join us and she's meeting a whole bunch of her new friends in her sorority, which is really exciting. So I wanted to show you guys my outfit, give you a quick update. So for Valentine's Day weekend, I'm wearing my new pink puffer, which is from Revolve. I'm so excited about. This top is new. It's from H&M, which is really cute. I'm wearing my Van Cleef, my pearls. These bracelets are from Bobble Bar, my normal rings, and then just um, like my little gold chain and Van Cleef, and then I'll show you. Okay, so I have the pink puffer on, which is super cute, and then I have on this little purse, which is from Amazon. It's this like pearl purse, um, which I think is so cute. Okay, the lighting in here is atrocious. This pearl purse, which I'm tweaking because I thought that the pearl and the pink went together really well. And then I'm just wearing black jeans, as you can see, this is very chaotic, and then my Veja shoes. So this is a very basic outfit, but it gets the job done. Okay, hi guys, it's me again. This is the most inconsistent vlog. I promise I'll sit down and catch up with you guys tomorrow. But today's Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. Um, the Bengals are playing the Rams. And as you guys know, Miami University is like 45 minutes away from Cincinnati. So we are going to go to a bar and watch the game. We have our friends over right now. Um, we made some buffalo chicken dip and pigs in a blanket. So exciting. I think Elizabeth's going to meet us uptown with some of her friends. Um, so yeah, I just quickly changed and I was able to kind of nap today because I was so tired from yesterday. This is what I'm wearing. I have this little puff hat from J. Crew. This pullover is new. It's from H&M. It's super cute. It's just ribbed. I'm wearing my Montclair, my YSL, my flare pants from Lululemon, and then I'm wearing snow boots because it started to snow. And also all those boxes are literally PR. I have four boxes of PR. It's out of control. I can't wait to show you guys this this weekend. I did just want to quickly pop on here, say hello. Um, we're going to go watch the game. Go Bengals. This was a very last minute decision, but I'm excited to go do this. It should be really fun. So hopefully they win and I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so my mom was so cute for Valentine's Day. She sent Elizabeth and I a huge box of presents and I wanted to wait and film to show you guys what she sent and everything. I kind of like was peeking and then I was like, wait, I need to film. Everything is wrapped so adorably. I kind of started like literally going after it and then I was like, let me just get my camera. So so many presents in here. This was arranged so much nicer and like I said, I had a field day, but I'm gonna start filming so I can show you guys what she gave me. Okay, so I'm literally dying. So when we were in Palm Beach, Elizabeth and I went into Stony Clover and we picked out a bag for them to custom make. As you guys know, they can like personalize it. So the bag 
came in so I knew that I was getting this it's this navy tote which is so cute and then we got EOC in these pearl letters which is so cute so she put all the gifts inside of the bag and then some other things that I got I haven't even finished unwrapping is this adorable new pullover which I'm pretty sure is from J Crew because I remember seeing it on the site yeah it's from J Crew look how adorable this is I actually think I might wear it today because it's so precious and sweet and then she sent me a new pair of roller rabbit pajamas I am dying and I have wanted the heart ones for so long if you guys don't own roller rabbit pajamas these are literally I the easiest way to describe them are like onesies they're so soft and I can't believe that she sent these to me. I think she also sent them to Elizabeth, so we can be matching tonight in our new roller rabbit pajamas. This is so cute. Hopefully I'm showing this okay. I'm like so excited. So I'm just ripping through everything, but I want to make sure that you also can see it. And then she also sent a new Lululemon outfit. So she sent this new pink top. So cute. It's like a looser fitting top. It's the Love Crew. Oh, that's even fitting for Valentine's Day. Um, I can find the exact one and link it down below. So adorable. And then she sent a new pair of leggings. Are you kidding me? Like what the heck? This is so cute. And these are in the Align pants and I really like this pattern as well and I think this is a new jacket like what this is called the pack it up jacket again I will find all this and link it down below for you guys because unreal and then she also sent a little red scrunchie as well isn't she the sweetest like the attention I oh my gosh okay I just wanted to show you how cutely these were wrapped I can find out where she got the wrapping paper from but she also just gave me these adorable napkins look how cute these are it says weekends are for brunch these are so cute these are really, really cute. And it's also perfect because I can like use it past Valentine's Day and stuff. And then this is like heavy. Look how adorable everything is wrapped. And then she sent another pair of my favorite J. Crew crew socks. I wear these all the time, especially with my boots. Okay, and then she sent a bunch of candy from our favorite candy shop, which is up at our lake house. Um, candy hearts. And then the last thing in here is also from Stony Clover, which we picked out, which is this really cute little cosmetic bag. And so it'll like fit perfectly in the purse. And I just got it in a white color again with my E. This will be perfect for travel. Um, so definitely, yeah, I'll leave everything linked down below. And then this was the little note she said. To Emily O, happy Valentine's Day. We love you, XOXO, mom and dad. This was quite, this was seriously quite the Valentine's Day extravaganza. My mom's the best and this literally just made my day and I'm so happy. I know I tore through this, but hopefully you guys got a good idea of what I got. I can't tell if this lighting is good or not. Hold on. Backing up can really scare me sometimes. Welcome back to this portion of the video. I think there, there have been a few um, chaotic clips that were in the beginning of this video but today is Tuesday it's the day after Valentine's Day so it's the 15th and I'm sitting in my car right now I just got this venti medicine ball to try and make us feel a little bit better because as you can probably tell I'm very sick I've been so I started not feeling well on Thursday then I like felt a little bit better on Friday and then we just had like a very busy weekend which I don't think necessarily helped um, and now I have a full-on sinus infection and really don't feel well and I'm super tired so that is not good kids yeah I've just been like since Thursday not feeling the best and you know when you're like at school and you don't feel well it's just not a good combination and yeah and I feel like I haven't really filmed a lot either which is funny because there's been so much going on but I feel like sometimes when there's so much going on I get like paralyzed and I just don't show any of it so that's really helpful for you guys but I did want to take this time to have a little catch-up I hope you guys are doing well always thinking of you um, over the weekend we had a really fun time Friday we like so Sarah's boyfriend Charlie was in town which it's always a fun weekend when he's here so Friday we went out with him super fun and then Saturday we were out all day and I was able to like hang out with Elizabeth and meet some of her friends her new friends in her sorority yesterday I was in Cincinnati all day because on Mondays I have my Red Hawk accelerator program which is if you guys I've explained this before but basically like I'm in a cohort of other students of all ages here at Miami who have their own businesses so that goes on from 3 to 8 on um, Mondays but like I have to leave very early so it's basically like the whole day and then after that I caught up with some friends for a few hours which was really fun because they were gone over the weekend so and then I just came back and I fell asleep and then this morning I know I hate I, I'm so sorry that I'm like telling you everything that happened but I just feel like 
you and I need to be on the same page so we can like move forward with my week and that just entails me regurgitating everything that happens. So this morning I had a really good call with my LTK rep, which is my like to know it rep. And if you guys don't know, I use like to know it, which is an affiliate program. That's basically where I like link all of my clothes. And so anytime you like click a link that's in my description box in my YouTube video or on my Instagram, I like get a commission from that. And so since I got like my end of year report sent to me and then I wanted to schedule a call and so we just talked about strategy and like my goals for this upcoming year and just like working on getting bigger sponsorships so that was this morning at 11 which went really well and then I also had my business coach today which was from 3 to 4 30 and that was also super lovely and I always look forward to that that's over zoom I talked to my mom today. I worked a while at Kofenya. Um, and then my mom is actually coming tomorrow to for just for the night because I have so many things that I need help with. And circling back to like, I sometimes can just get, which is what I'm working on in my business coaching, is like when I get too overwhelmed with things, I can just get like paralyzed and I don't even know where to start. So that's kind of been happening. I have so many amazing brand campaigns going on at once, which I'm obviously like fantastic problem to have but it's really hard to shoot content at school because like Elizabeth's in class you're like I don't want to have to keep asking my roommates so my mom is just going to come down for the day or for the night and um help me shoot a bunch of content for Instagram for TikTok for reels and then like take all that extra PR home because there's just no room in my room at school because you guys know it's like not big at all so that is my update wow what a mouthful I know that I just threw a lot at you what else oh I'm gonna be in Cincinnati all day Friday for my other program through my major so I really just have like I just had today and then the next two days I'm gonna be with my mom working on stuff Friday all day in Cincinnati and then the weekend so that is my update thank you for listening to me I'm gonna drink my medicine ball um, I'm gonna go probably home and just like I so I'm I have a blowout tomorrow at 9.30 because if we're gonna be shooting content, I just like want my hair to look good. So I kinda wanna fit in a workout because I never like to waste a hair wash if I don't work out. So I need to work out, I need to clean the apartment, and I need to self-tan. Again, if, if I'm gonna be shooting outfits, I wanna be tanned, I want my hair to be done. It's just a whole process, so those are my thoughts. Yeah, I just really would like to feel a little bit better. Okay, there's like, these boys all watching me right now. I'm gonna head back to the apartment. Has the steering wheel, but I think the steering wheel literally has been blocking me the entire time. I really apologize. Also, my hat is from J. Crew. I can leave a link down below. And I have this really cute scarf from Zara on as well. Okay, I'm gonna continue with the rest of my day and we'll continue with the rest of this vlog. Okay, hi friends, welcome back, happy Tuesday. So we've resurrected a little bit. I wanted to hop on here and vlog, give an update. So I am not really feeling better, but I do have a virtual doctor's appointment at one o'clock. So hopefully they will get me some antibiotics for my sinus infection and I will start to feel better. But this morning I got up, I went and got a blowout, I got my hair done, um, and then I just kind of like got ready, did some laundry, did some work in the morning. And my mom is coming, she's gonna be here very shortly actually. I think she'll show up right after my um, little virtual doctor's appointment, which is great timing. So she's staying for the night here um, at Miami to see Elizabeth and I, and then she's also mainly coming to help me like shoot a bunch of content, we need to work on some stuff. I feel like I've just gotten very behind and I'm feeling overwhelmed. So um, first semester she did this kind of frequently, she would pop down and just help me with content. And then she's also going to take a lot of the PR back home because it's filling up my room. So I'm very grateful that she is coming down and I'm going to stay in her hotel room tonight and we'll probably, we'll go and get lunch when she shows up and then probably have a fun dinner tonight as well with Ebeth. Um, so yeah, those are all things that I'm looking forward to. I do need to fix this lighting. I know I talk about this every single time I vlog, but I always forget because this is kind of a new camera and it's a little dark. Okay, but what I did want to quickly do before I have my little doctor's appointment is Steve Madden sent me a bunch of boxes. Um, of PR and new goodies, which is so amazing. I absolutely love working with Steve Madden. They are one of the most fun companies, and I'm so grateful and lucky to have this partnership. So there are so many boxes in my room. So before I shoot all the content with my mom today, I wanted to show you guys because spring's approaching. If you need a refresh in your wardrobe, don't worry, I've got you covered. So I'm gonna do this standing up just because it's easier. This is the first box of stuff. So the first thing they sent me is super cute. It's this hot pink 
like really fun blazer and this is going to be perfect because you guys know on Mondays and Fridays I have um, meetings and like networking events for my program and so I always like to dress nicely it's not like required but I always you know like to look cute and so this is also super fun and it just gets everyone's attention so love this I will leave obviously there will be links to everything down below the majority of the things that they sent me were in fact shoes because they are a shoe company but then I did just get like a few clothing items which is really fun so they also sent me these new heels which are so adorable and everything is in a seven and a half I size up a half a size because I just think it's better and so, some of the things I asked for but then most of the stuff they just went ahead and sent so this is what the shoe looks like adorable just an easy slide on heel especially at school for like events that require you to dress up this is like the perfect heel for it because they're comfortable they go with everything it's a neutral and this black heel keeps you super comfortable so um if you guys need just a very basic staple heel going into the spring and summer definitely check these out i will obviously leave a link so that was the first pair of shoes okay the next pair of shoes i did pick out i'm so obsessed with these boots look how adorable and cool these are so i love like the shiny patent leather black and then the brown block heel is really cute and then the gold detailing i also love a boot that's just a little bit higher on your ankle because it then can like close the gap between your jeans or your pants and the boot i just think these are adorable and since we still have a little bit left in winter february march i can't wait to get some good use out of these so that was the second pair of shoes that was the first box of things and then the second box is right here um they sent another blazer i also picked this out because i felt like this would be super cute and i sized up because i wanted it to be a little oversized so this is an oversized green blazer i clearly was like really into the blazers and this one actually has shoulder pads so so cool like i don't know where i'm wearing this to but actually st patrick's day this would be perfect it could be quite the moment so i will put this on i'm also gonna be like taking instagram pictures with this with all these things so be sure to follow me on instagram we have a lot of shoes in here she also sent over some sandals so she sent over these really fun sparkly ones super cute i'm gonna hold on to these for like spring break in the summer oh my god i'm so obsessed with these i already took some pictures look at these amazing heels i actually did pick these out i they remind me of like cinderella shoes they are these adorable heels if you guys need an event these actually low-key are kind of a staple because they are clear and um will actually go with everything so beautiful needed event to wear these two amazing next pair of shoes are sparkly sandals we're really into the sparkles recently these must be in and steve madden just honestly has the best most comfortable sandals and these are so cute i'm really in love with this sparkly moment more shoes we're not done ladies oh i really like these kind of like a woven sandal super cute perfect i i feel like i've owned shoes like this before from steve madden and then last pair of shoes oh these are so cute look how fun these are again perfect little pink loafers with this gold detailing such a statement piece also these are just going to also be perfect for like my monday friday meetings um even with what i'm wearing these would look cute maybe i'll put these on with what i'm wearing because i'm wearing like this navy pullover and i have corduroys on because elizabeth has my jeans but this pop of pink would be amazing and it's like kind of warmer outside so i think i'm gonna do that um so yeah everything will be linked down below and oh they also sent she said some newness and for the spring and such xoxo sally love sally from steve madden and then they also sent a signed copy of the cobbler which is a um the steve madden book which is so exciting so thank you so much steve madden for sending me this i am so excited to do the unboxing i'm gonna be filming tiktoks and instagram pictures and just continue to work with them so i really appreciate it and they are amazing and i love my new goodies so i need to hop on this quick doctor's appointment fingers crossed and then my mom's gonna show up soon so yay hello everyone Hi. look who's here yay mom's finally in oxford i'm so excited we she came here a few hours ago and we went and got lunch together and then she checked in at the hotel and then now as you can see i've changed and we are shooting content we are shooting content right now for sue sarter so we have the four dresses which is so exciting and so excited we're gonna go they're to, darling they're so cute so we're going to like this art center which is right near my apartment and it has this really pretty room which i'll show them it's kind of like it reminds me of like a ballroom so mm -hmm. that's where we're going to be shooting the content and spending time with mom Yay. and then later on we'll meet up with elizabeth 
which is like classes and studying. So I will do some behind the scenes of taking pictures and yeah, just Let's being productive. Go. Let's go. Okay, hi friends. So my mom and I have been so productive and we're here at the Oxford Arts Center, which is a great place to shoot and especially it's the perfect place to shoot the Sue Starter dresses. So we've just done two of the dresses. Everything will be on my Instagram, um, TikTok, everything like that. But I did want to show you, this is the room, first of all. So look how pretty this is. It's so my vibe and it's especially perfect for the dresses. So I did want to just show you a little sneak peek. Again, like I said, you'll see this all on my Instagram of this one dress. I can even set the camera up a little bit better so you can see it. Beautiful handmade dresses. I know I did an unboxing. So this is one of the dresses which is so beautiful. And then I love the way that my mom did this belt. Instead of just doing a regular bow we've been trying to do like different ones on each of them so she like looped it around three times and then it's just this like little bow look at the detailing it is so pretty and she has one size fits most this one's a little longer so i'm wearing these over the knee brown boots which are from um, nordstrom and then my earrings are the same ones from bobble bar we're having a great time the lighting in here is pretty good which is great i'm gonna go back in front of the um, window here mom do you want to hold it Okay, my mom's holding it now so you can see it a little bit better. But look how pretty this dress is. I feel like I'm at a ball right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will leave all the information for Sue Starter down below so you guys can check it out. And we're gonna keep, thank you mom, we're gonna keep shooting the rest of the dresses so I'll show you the other ones as well. We have this purse. I took the strap off, but this is from Amazon and so we paired it with this. I'll leave this down below. It's like the perfect little Adorable. Yeah, it's so cute. It, everything's very just like feminine and ladylike and we're gonna put the other outfit on and shoot for the rest of the dresses. So let's go. Okay, so I'm in the last dress now. We just shot all four dresses. This is the longer version. Um, she sent two long versions, one like shorter and then like one midi, I would say, dress. And um, yeah, so we're done shooting for Sue Sarder. We did video, TikTok, reels, Instagram, like all of it. We got it covered, which is fantastic because this has been one, something very exciting. So if you wanna get $50 off your Sue Sarder handmade dresses, then you can use my code, which is, I think it's just Emily Owen Bows. All the information will be down below and then I will put the code on the screen. I love Sue, she's amazing. We met her in Palm Beach. She is so sweet. I talk to her all the time. We're always texting about ideas. And um, if you need a dress right now, th these are good transitional pieces, which is why she sent them to me because when I originally bought the first dress, I was in Palm Beach, but she's like, I know you're gonna be in Ohio and we always can't be wearing these like bright, colorful, white and green dresses. So these are perfect for someone like me in the Midwest, just still experiencing winter to have these longer, thicker, warmer tone dresses. And she said she was also sending me some spring dresses. So more to come on this. I'm so grateful to be wearing these dresses. And if you purchase one, please let me know um, and we can be matching. Okay, now we're gonna put some regular outfits on and shoot some content in those. So my mom was also saying that these dresses, if you wear it with a wedge, I have the over the knee boots, I'm really backing up. This would be still perfect with a wedge in the summer, in the spring. They're really great for all year round. And then she did this, what's it called, what'd you call it? It's a square knot. A square knot, which I've never, she's never done this before. So we all just learned something today. So she doubled it up three times. You, you guys might already know this. And then just tied it in the front twice, kind of like little bunny ears. Um, and I really, it's super flattering and it's not just like the basic bow. Even though I love good bow, I thought this was a little bit more interesting. So we did that for two of the dresses that I was modeling, so. The other thing that I'm gonna say that I like about this dress, if you back up, there's a lining oh, that yeah. goes all the way to maybe halfway through. You can't really tell, oh, yeah. but it's really pretty. So if you were walking outside, the light would filter through the bottom, and we're dancing again. <laughs> yes. And the light would filter in the bottom, and it's just a nice little lining inside. Oh, I like that. That's they're awesome. darling. They're you could really, wear this all year round. All year round, you can wear it. And I was taking pictures in this last dress with my go-yard, because this could easily be a daytime outfit, or you can transition it with a heel, a little handbag. So I like I showed as many options as I could. So we just love these. Okay, so my mom's helping me organize everything in my room. So we were shooting some content for Steve Madden. And I know I did the unboxing earlier, but I wanted to show you all the shoes laid out because they're a lot easier to see. Um, they're just so adorable. And she especially loves these pink ones. We're gonna shoot some outfits in there tomorrow. And then we used these really cute boots today to shoot with the Sue Sarter dresses. They just match perfectly. And then these gorgeous heels are kind of like little Cinderella heels. And then I'm excited to hang on to all of the sandals for springtime. And I'm also gonna keep these here because that would be perfect with just like basic dresses, anything like that. So 
Look how pretty that is. I just wanted to show you them all laid out at once. Okay, so when we were in Palm Beach, we, um, at the little shopping event, there was this vendor and she sells belts. Okay, so she sells these really pretty belts and then a belt buckle and she followed me on Instagram and then saw that like my logo was the bow. So when we were there, she, we purchased the gold bow to go on the belt, but then she was like, I think you need the black one as well because it looks like your logo. Um, look at the packaging. It's so beautiful. So I'm going to open this letter and then I'll show you guys what she sent. Okay, so I just took this out of the box and this is what it looks like. This honestly reminds me so much of my bow logo, which is exactly why she sent it over. So, so beautiful. And then she actually sent over a another belt strap which is amazing and this one's perfect for the winter so it's black and we already purchased like a pink one I'm pretty sure and like a tan one so we have a whole collection going so I will leave all of Cecily's information down below if you guys want to check out her beautiful belts and then tomorrow we're also going to shoot some content so you can see this on I also just got some new products from Necessaire that my mom brought from home because they usually ship them there um so this is the body oil which I've actually been using in combination with the lotion I think they sent me mini travel size versions of this which is so cute it's always a surprise and I love when they show up. I use these products every single day. I use the body serum, the lotion, the body oil. I use their shampoo, their conditioner. The list goes on so I love all their products and I love working with Necessaire so I am so excited about my little refill. All right, dinner. Pickle and Pig which is a really cute place. Mom. Ebeth. Hi. We just got a little appetizer. These mushroom little things. We all got these veggie burgers. Look how delish. Turkey burgers. Turkey burgers. Just kidding. I don't even know what I mean. <laughs> Okay, my mom and I came to Patterson's. We just got an omelet and we're sitting here. We're having some breakfast, hello, hello. and getting ready for our day. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. It is Friday, February 18th. Mm. Our mom just left. Ebeth, do you want to tell everyone what you did today? Oh. Look at that. Mm. We're having snacks. So I rose from my slumber at 9.30. Yep. Mom and I went to True West, which I absolutely loved. Mm -hmm. I feel like they can't see me. Like, oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Absolutely loved it. Mm -hmm. Food was so fresh, delicious. I loved getting out of campus. Mm. And then we went to across the street to this adorable stationery store for delightful doodads, as the sign said. Doodads. <laughs> and then we went to Target, which I hadn't been to since summer. Mm. And then we went to Alta. And all of this sounds very generic, but it was just so free. They had like a, a fun errand day. Yeah. And I was in my Zooms for my program. So I had that from 10 to 12 and then 1 to 2.30. And then once that was done, I met them over at Cofenia. And we like, that's where my coffee's from. And then yeah. my mom just left. We said bye to her. She's driving home. It's a beautiful day here in Oxford. I'm feeling a little bit better. Also, I just wanted to clarify about my sickness. I have a sinus infection and I there were some people DMing me like asking me, I do not have COVID. Um, I had to take three COVID tests because in order to take my antibiotics for the sinus infection, I had to be negative because if I did have COVID and I started taking the antibiotics, then it would make me worse. So just wanted to clarify that. I'm feeling better. What are you doing tonight? You have a social? Oh my God. I have a jammed schedule. There's like never any free time. Mm. So tonight I'm going over to my owl pal for Kayo, mm. OP. Mm. Going over to her dorm. Um, picking up some people and then we're driving to the social uptown and then we're going to some parties Yeah, we're just gonna go out See the people see the people. Mm-hmm mm -hmm. um, You have the hair appointment at four. I do which is at a different place And I might go with her to see if I can get my nails done and then maybe are you getting your nails done? Well, I'm gonna try okay, but like honestly after. like You can't see anything. Yeah <laughs> yeah. So I got these white high top shoes from Target today. Mm -hmm. Like going out shoes so they can get trashed. So I don't know if I wear that with the dress or if that looks too like like rough. Do you want some of my boots? Mm. So then I also have like western boots. Oh. From Steve? Madden? Mm, no like cowboy boots. The white cowboy boots? Are they from Steve Madden? Yeah. Oh I didn't know that. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then I also have West, those Western boots from yeah. Madam. Well, either one of those would work. I wouldn't do the white height. I wouldn't do the tennis shoes. Very mm -hmm. 2000s. Yeah, I like this vibe for us. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not 2000s. I'm wearing a pink, a red dress. I feel like everything we're saying, we're contradicting each other. Because you're not listening. I'm listening. Okay, so that's our update. I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like you would hear me. I'm right here. 
hope you guys enjoyed this video and we're gonna go figure out the hair slash nail situation. I think I'm gonna get my hair curled. I think that's cute. Right? You sure my hair looks okay? Yeah. Okay. She got some stuff at Target with my mom for her dorm room and she created a little foyer mm -hmm. from what I'm understanding. So I want to go see that. So I'll show you guys the I setup. I think supposed to go room. early to the hair so you can get your nails, nails. Done. Okay. Let me just finish my croissant. I'll have another donut haul. We just needed a little afternoon pick me up. You guys know how we like our snacks. I also <laughs> love to bake goods. Yeah. We just needed a baked good. I wonder what a stuffed croissant oh, tastes like. Have, oh, that has. Does it have something in it? Mm. What? Cream? Spit it out. Jelly. Oh, actually I don't mind jelly. What a rude awakening that was. Oh God. Was it glaze? Mm-hmm. Red, red, red. Mm-hmm. Last night, went to a little Valentine's Day birthday party at our neighbors and the party planning and the details were amazing. What they was the food like? Oh, they made a cake. They Whoa. had chocolate covered strawberries. They oh. had these Rice Krispie treats. There was a champagne um, tower. Mm -hmm. It was absolutely lovely. So that I was feel fun. like um, chocolate covered strawberries, I've been seeing all over TikTok. Yeah. I like how Galant or Valentine's Day, rather, has been going on for about two weeks. Literally. Like, what week was it? Because clearly we weren't on the same page, everyone. But, okay, we're going to go. Why do I always feel like I'm taking so much longer to eat. I don't know. My apologies. No, don't apologize. All right, I'll see you guys no. later.